we're gonna make the unstuffed peppers. So I'm gonna show you how we do this in our camper. We have a small space, but we can we make do. This is the easiest meal, super easy. So the first thing that we're going to do is take the pepper. Up. Small pieces. This is not my regular knife. I should have brought it, but I didn't. We try not to cook food meals that are like too hard to cook because we are always on the go when we're camping. And I don't like to spend my time inside. Oh my goodness, this knife is terrible. <laughs> So when our kids were little, I would make stuffed peppers and they would waste the pepper. They love the filling, but they didn't like the actual pepper. So I started making them, we called it unstuffed peppers. And we would use um, less peppers and... So anyway, we used less peppers and we put it into a bake so that um, the, the meal had the flavor of the peppers, but the kids didn't waste them. They could just eat what they wanted. I'm going to do everything right in one pan. Put some peppers in the pan. We are going to use, I'm making half a recipe, so um, I'm only going to use one can of black beans. Usually I would use two. Yeah, okay, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. My colander is being used as a fruit bowl right now, so this is also how we do things when we're camping. <laughs> and water. I'm rinsing and draining the beans. I'm sorry, yes, this is crushed tomatoes. <laughs> okay, one can of crushed tomatoes. Usually I would use one can of crushed tomatoes and one can of diced, but um, we're just going to use the crushed. Use that, I already made the rice, so it takes a little while. So I cooked up one cup of dry rice. So now this is, it's about two cups of cooked rice. That. And I forget how much garlic we use. I think it's like a teaspoon or so of garlic powder. Maybe a little Italian seasoning. I keep limited spices in the camper. Italian seasoning is great because it has like everything in it. Um, and, oh my goodness, I, I forgot your seitan. Chris is holding the camera and he is not happy without the Satan in it. Um, oh, it's frozen. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna defrost this. Okay, so I have the Satan defrosting and yes, we're camping and I'm using my microwave. Sorry. Um, it's too hot to do anything otherwise. So while that's defrosting, before I put this in the oven, um, we're also having asparagus tonight. So, I'll show you this one. The asparagus, we are going to cook over the campfire. You're gonna cook it over the campfire. Chris is gonna cook it over the campfire. So gonna, I already washed it. better cutting area. I do need a better cutting area. You need a better camper. I mean, no, I need a better camper. Camper's fine. Alright, so I just cut the ends off of the asparagus. I was going to chop them in little pieces, but that's out the window. <laughs> Chris likes asparagus. Why? Why do you like asparagus so much? Because it makes my pee smell funny. <laughs> we actually tried growing it in our garden. It's on its third year, but we barely got any out of but it. But we repotted it, basically. 
No. We, yes, we transplant. We transplant. We moved it from one location. To one. I think that's giving it a setback. Give it a setback. All right. So here we have our asparagus. Now I would normally cook this with fresh garlic, which I we didn't buy that. So we're gonna try this with garlic powder. And white wine. Mm, it's cute white wine. It does the trick. This might be too much asparagus for this little oil. Mm -hmm. And it's just gonna steam in there. Fold it into a little boat. And that's going to go right on the campfire. That's going to set right on the campfire because we have one of the fires with the grill on top, mm -hmm. which is perfect. This is seitan. So this is Italian seitan. Sometimes I make my own at a tempeh, but we also buy the Upton's Italian seitan, which is delicious. And I put that in lasagna and people don't even know that it's not. That's Crumble that up. It's still frozen. If I didn't have this frozen, this would be really fast. <laughs> okay. So, I have everything in the pan. And just mix this all up. So, we got our peppers, we have crushed tomatoes, we have a can of black beans. We have, I used a cup of dry rice that I cooked ahead of time. Like I said, one pepper. So this is all just gonna get mixed up. And I'm going to put it in the oven on 350 for about, um, normal, if I did a full recipe, I would do it for 45 minutes. So with this, I'm gonna try 30 minutes. The, the camping stove is a little funny, so. So that's it. Now we're just waiting for, we're going to wait for everything to cook and we're going to have a great dinner. It's probably going to last us a couple nights, except it's our last night. <laughs> okay. That's it. I'll show you when it comes out of the oven, if I remember. Peace. Okay. Go rolling. Oh. Alrighty, so the uh, unstuffed peppers are done. Our asparagus is here off the fire. I did add another can of beans after we videotaped because it looked like it could use just a little bit more to make it a little more hearty. So we have that done. And then we have our asparagus. We'll just paint it off the fire. I think it's done. I hope. Oh yeah. Fire cooked asparagus. Yum. We're gonna eat now. We're very hungry. Thanks for watching. Good night.